Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be making uh, this little gingerbread house from a Pat Pat Zoo kind of rip off squishy. This is an idea I've had in my mind for the longest of times. I just want to address the fact that I did miss two uploads before yesterday's and that is because I've had a nightmare with all of my camera equipment. Basically, I have pre, well, I did pre-film five videos in a row from Saturday through to Wednesday just because I'm so busy this week. Like, it's my dad's birthday, my sister's birthday. I've got two Christmas meals coming up for work and stuff. So I've been really, really busy. So I actually pre-filmed all of those videos. But what I ended up doing was filming over them by accident and somehow I ended up losing the footage completely to those two videos. I managed to save yesterday's and then today's I've lost the intro, the outro and the last clip so I still can rectify this one and save it so that's why I'm here today with like different nails on and it's just a completely different day so yeah hopefully I can save today's video but yeah like I said I made this little gingerbread house from the Pat Pat Zoo Squishy I am going to be opening up the advent calendar at the end of the video so I don't take up any more of your time so hopefully you enjoy so first of all taking the little pumpkin shoe he has met his defeat the poor little thing i just started cutting him up which is super sad but he did have a few defects on from improper storage i just chucked him in a box with a whole load of the squishies and he got a bit squished and some of his paint stuck to another squishy and then i ripped the other squishy off and it stuck to the other squishy so he lost a little bit of paint so anyway i just went ahead and took my scissors and started cutting all of the kind of sheepness of him so all of the outer layer just until i was left with a nice like white block of kind of this foam in the middle what i actually went ahead and did was made a point at the top to make it into a house like shape and then I just kind of went back in with smaller snips just to smooth it out and just made sure that I really kind of had it as flat as I possibly could on all of the sides and I had removed all of the pumpkin costume that was originally on the sheet. I'm going to leave this as like a time lapse so that you can see it a bit better. I know that some people find it super satisfying watching me ruin my squishies. Other people hate it but I'm going to leave it in just really quickly so that we can get the best of both worlds. Now the thing is this actually squishes really really nicely, it's really nice and slow rising just because of the foam that's used. But basically once I was happy with the shape I then played around with some of the offcuts and this is where you can decide where to like put 3D parts on it if you want to. I decided against it because I wanted to paint mine on. So I just went ahead and took this gingery coloured puffy paint that I just mixed up in a little tub. It's just a mixture of brown, yellow and white puffy paint mixed in with some white PVA glue. And I just took a paintbrush and I painted all of the squishy with this colour. I left it to dry and then I painted on another layer. I left it to dry again and painted on another layer after that so that I had three layers of the brown in total. Once all of the layers were then fully dry, it was then ready to decorate. So I went in with some white puffy paint and my puffy paint actually ran out at this point, which was just brilliant. So I just went ahead and kind of cut it open a bit and started using a dotting tool to kind of really get the puffy paint on where I thought the icing would be. I basically just like thought about where like you make real gingerbread houses where like the pieces kind of match together and you need the icing to kind of stick them all together so i just put it on like all of the angles that were on the gingerbread house just with my dot and tool kind of swirling it around and making it look like icing i think this really kind of set it apart from like other gingerbread houses just so that like the icing is in the right places if you get what i mean like some people only put it along the top and everything like that but i think putting it on every single angle really kind of gives it that gingerbread house like effect So once the white was on like all of the sections, I then went ahead and added some where I wanted some sweets to be. I wanted it to look like I like stuck the sweets on with icing, so I just kind of like put it on really loosely and then painted on over it. I started off with a red and popped a red circle at the top in the middle because I wanted that to be like one of those um, peppermint swirls. 
and then I went ahead and painted on two little hook looking things because I wanted them to be candy canes. Now as I'm watching this back I realised that it looks really really lopsided and wow I really need to improve my painting but I did go ahead and kind of sort it out in a little while. I went in with a bright pink and added two little circles on one of the white bits and then two little circles on the green and then I went back in with the white puppy paint again and just started like doing like a scaly type effect on the roof. This is something that I see on a lot of like gingerbread like clip arts and stuff and I think it just makes it look like super like tiled on a gingerbread house and it just looks so cute. So I just went ahead and painted that on with a dotting tool and the same white puppy paint that I used for like the connections. I did go ahead and add some dots on it with the bright pink and the bright lime green that I used on the front of the gumdrop buttons just to kind of look like it had extra sweets on and I think it makes it look really super cute. I basically did the exact same on the other side as well. Next I went in with a pink and just painted on where I wanted the door to be. I then put a green outline around the door as well just to kind of make it look like it had a door frame and I just kind of like outlined it with my dot tool to get a nice neat edge and then went in with my paintbrush to make it nice and smooth and a good kind of finish on the outside of the squishy. Now I did go ahead and add in some white details and everything like that throughout the candy cane and the peppermint swirl. I did actually lose that footage as for some reason my footage yesterday and today's kind of got all crumpled and I just lost so much which is so so annoying um, but I'm so happy to still have this footage so I should be grateful that I haven't lost it all. But like I said, I did put that green outline around the door to make it like a door frame and I just wanted to do it in these colours so that I could kind of even it out a little bit as well as kind of match the gumdrop buttons at the top. I added some little dots down at the bottom as well just to add a bit of extra like detail because it looked a little bit bare down there. So I popped on some lime green and some white dots down at the bottom just to imitate little candies. So I know at the end of the video I did lose some footage where I put on the last little details like the stripes on the candy canes, the peppermint swirl and then just like the door decoration. I put a silver heart on there like and put white around it again. I put the um, peppermint swirl kind of like patterning on and then the white little stripes on there as well. And that's all I did to the gingerbread house and I think it looks really really cute. It does annoy me a little bit that this bit is kind of like off centred but I'm not the best painter and I tried so this is how it turned out. So obviously this is what the little gingerbread house looks like. It's a far cry from the actual original sheep but I think it looks very very cute. It squishes really really nicely, really nice and slow considering the fact that it is just a cut up squishy and only the middle part of it but because we put paint back on it it still keeps it nice and slow which is exactly what we like. It's nice and airy, nice and light because of the original squishy and I'm really really happy with how it's turned out. Now the thing is I have obviously already opened door number 16. I think it's the 16th isn't it? No. 16! See this is what I mean. The days are all wrong. It's the 18th isn't it? Yeah I've already opened up door number 18 and because I think I missed 15 and 16 what I'm going to do is I'm going to include all of those squishies back into the bag. I'm not going to tell you which ones were in behind them just to keep it as a little extra secret but in order to be in with the chance of winning all you have to do is put a hashtag ChelseaDIYMS down in the comments just to be in with the chance of winning and I will of course like miss out the two days which were the 15th and 16th so you have like more chances to even win because there's less videos to comment on but yeah hopefully that all makes sense as you guys know I am doing a Christmas giveaway with all the squishies in behind door so 1 to 25 and then I'm collecting them all up and on Christmas day I'm going to be announcing five winners to win five squishies each and that will still be the case even though I've kind of messed up this little week but hopefully from tomorrow all my videos will be completely fine it's just completely got out of hand and I just did not have any time left to kind of resolve it which I was so frustrated and I really really do apologise for anybody who has noticed. I'm sure some people haven't even noticed which will hopefully be the case in a lot of people's minds but yeah hopefully you enjoyed this video anyway. If you do please do give it a thumbs up as it really does help me along my way and I will see you in tomorrow's video. Bye!